Uh, now, I want to talk to you with your Shadow Culture Secretary hat on because you're launching an independent review panel into the BBC. Uh, one of the things that you want it to look into is ensuring the BBC is independent of government. Do you think the BBC is independent of government right now? Well, I think there are some perception uh, challenges, at, at least, uh, in that regard. And the reason that I've launched uh, this uh, independent review panel today with some very preeminent uh, people from the industry working with uh, me who are going to make recommendations and, and advise Labour on the future uh, direction is because the BBC does face a number of headwinds. But we're, we're sure that as the Labour Party that we support a universally funded uh, public service uh, publicly funded uh, broadcaster in this country. We think that's absolutely critical. But there are a number of headwinds that it faces. It's got a charter renewal uh, coming up. There are constant questions around its future funding. Uh, this government have, have basically put the BBC uh, at, under threat in terms of its, its future uh, funding. Its independence and impartiality is constantly uh, being questioned and at the centre of, of culture wars. And of course, in the in the streaming age, the platform age, the social media age that we are now living in, there are big challenges for the BBC and that's why I want this panel at this stage uh, to really do some deep uh, policy work for Labour on these issues so that we can secure the future of the BBC, not just to survive but to thrive uh, into the next generation. I'm still a little bit unclear on what the answer to the initial question was about the independence of the BBC, because you say that there's a perception issue. Uh, you said that the independence is being questioned. Do you think it's independent of government? You've called for the chairman, Richard Sharp, to resign. Well, I think that there are have been serious issues uh, lately. Obviously, there are a number of issues around the appointment process of the, of the chair, which is now under investigation, because I asked for that investigation, because quite clearly... Uh, the relationship between uh, the, the chair that was appointed and the then Prime Minister was, was one a lot closer and involved a lot of uh, financial uh, issues that we weren't aware of at the time. The appointment of other members of, of the board of the BBC. But also this keeping, I think, what we've seen from this government in particular is, is keeping uh, the BBC at heel by constantly threatening uh, its future. So this time last year, the then Culture Secretary Nadine Doris said that the licence fee settlement would be the last uh, licence fee as we know it, uh, and that, that there's some, in the future there would be some other way of funding the BBC, yet they've said nothing about that. They were supposed to bring in a media bill to secure prominence of the BBC. Uh, they've not uh, done that. There are constant threats that are hanging over the BBC, and, and the charter renewal coming up in the next few years okay. is, is another one, which I think Just... is a way in which that the, this government is trying to keep uh, its foot on the throat of the BBC.